really feel like I was a hamster on a treadmill in New York City, just going and going and going, when I really just needed to sit down, think things through, and make a plan for myself. And that's exactly what my accident allowed me to do. It allowed me to reflect, think, and come up with a strategy, come up with a plan. And God blessed me with this apartment that I have now and living the life that I, I want to live, living a life that I'm proud of, you know? I'm, I'm proud of it. <laughs> I broke my ankle on my 25th birthday and although it was the worst pain I've ever experienced in my life and it was the worst experience I've ever had, it actually snowballed into me changing my life completely around for the better. So here is that story. My best friend Jordan and I share the same birthday. We are born on July 16th. We are Cancer Sisters. And we wanted to do something new. We wanted to do something fun, something unique for our birthday weekend. So like a bunch of dumbasses, we went to this place. I won't say the name because we signed a waiver and we signed our life away. Otherwise, I'd be suing them for money. But uh, <laughs> we signed our lives away and we went to this like fun park. You know those like places where you jump on trampolines and you do those ninja warrior obstacles? Yeah, one of those places. We went there and we were having a great time. Everything was fun until I decided to be brave and go on a aerial trappy swing. You know those swings where you grab a bar and you jump off into the sunset? Yeah, I didn't jump off into the sunset. I jumped off onto my ankle. It was horrible. It was literally the worst pain I've ever felt in my entire life. The pain was excruciating. I fell and I landed directly on my ankle. My foot went and then I went, oh my God, and I flicked it and it went <laughs> and then it just like, I heard the bones crack twice. Yeah, it was terrible, it was terrible. My friends didn't know what was going on, they thought I was laughing, but I instead was actually crying and screaming in pain. We were in the ER for hours and hours and hours. Then I had to find out that I would be having my first surgery. Mind you, this is still around my birthday. I'm supposed to be celebrating, you know, I'm in my mid-20s now, I'm supposed to be happy, it's supposed to be a joyous moment in my life. Also, I'm in the process of looking for an apartment in New York City and I hadn't found something. So there was just so many things going all at once, making this the worst possible timing <laughs> for an accident ever. So I found out that I need to get surgery on my ankle. And so what I'd see was, <laughs> I'm so grateful for my mother because she came to my house she and my best friend Jordan, they packed everything up, packed up all my stuff, threw it in her car, drove me to Long Island where I had to recover at my mother's house for about, I want to say two months-ish, about two months. And she took care of me, like she literally wiped my ass. <laughs> She's probably watching this like, why would you say that? No, but she did take care of me really well. Okay, my, my camera just died, so I had to like stop and take a snack and like, let it charge and stuff by the way this might be out of focus i don't know how to use this camera i've had it for like six years so i don't know what i'm doing my bad i'm gonna figure it out though stay and bear with me <laughs> uh anyway back to the story so yeah my mom literally had to take care of me she got all my stuff from my apartment i'm so grateful and thankful for her for doing that uh, and I literally had to be on bed rest for seven weeks, six or seven weeks. I had my surgery. It was terrifying. I had never imagined I would have surgery before. I didn't think I would ever have surgery in my life. I, I figured if I were going to have surgery, it'd probably be after I had a couple of kids and my boobs are like on the ground or something and I wanted a mommy makeover. I don't know. I always just never thought I would ever get surgery in my life. So for this to be my first surgery is just like... Did not expect that, but okay, let's keep it pushing. <laughs> if any time I moved my foot even an inch, it was like excruciating pain. It was the worst. I remember I, I had nights where I literally cried myself to sleep and then I couldn't even sleep because it was so much pain. I would just be sitting in the bed, throbbing in pain, crying, screaming at the top of my lungs. It was, it was a humbling experience and it was also just like, dang, like, 
it, it really showed me that even the smallest decisions can really change your life in a split second. And that was one of the lessons I got from this. It's just you need to be really mindful and really trust your intuition, trust your gut. Because I didn't want to do this thing, this this little thing where you jump. I didn't want to do it. I was terrified. I'm scared of heights. But I wanted to try to do something out of my comfort zone. But honestly, I should have listened to myself. So that was one of the lessons I got out of this. Uh, anyway, I ended up on bed dress, like I said, for six, seven weeks. Actually, like about two months. Uh, and I was on crutches, the whole shebang, had to learn how to walk again. It was terrible. Not fun at all. It's zero out of ten, would not recommend. I had to do physical therapy for four or five weeks. It was just, it was a lot of pain and it was a lot of struggle. A lot of good things actually did come up from this time. I got to spend time with my mother, which was really important. And also I had a lot of time to reflect. I had some time to sit down and just think about my life and what I wanted and where I was headed. I knew that staying in New York City probably wouldn't make any more sense for me to do that because I wasn't able to find a place. And I really started taking the possibility of moving out of state really seriously at this time. So I started looking for apartments online while I was on bed rest. I was really thinking about my business and coming up with new ideas. I was just trying to keep myself busy, keep my mind occupied and looking forward to the future. And I really believe that everything happens for a reason because I needed that time to sit down and reflect and think about what I wanted from my life. And uh, I'm really grateful for it. I'm really, really grateful for it because it led me to here. It led me to where I'm at right now. I moved across the country. I started to focus mostly on my business. I'm working on that full time now. And I really am doing it. <laughs> and I really am just starting a brand new life and just changing everything. I'm going to try to make new friends. I'm going to really try to become the woman that I want to be and the entrepreneur that I want to be. And that wouldn't have happened in the way that it happened if I didn't break my ankle. So full circle moment, really, like literally full circle moment. Uh, yeah, so I hope that this story inspired you a little bit. I hope that it makes you really think about your life. You know, sometimes we need a second to just pause and hold on and God says, listen, you need to sit down and really think about what you're doing and just reflect. And I needed that. I really feel like I was a hamster on a treadmill in New York City, just going and going and going, when I really just needed to sit down, think things through, and make a plan for myself. And that's exactly what my accident allowed me to do. It allowed me to reflect, think, and come up with a strategy, come up with a plan. And God blessed me with this apartment that I have now. And within a series of like three months, I went from living in a, a four bedroom apartment in New York City, working my butt off in the film industry, to now living in a two bedroom apartment by myself, focused 100% on my candle business and my entrepreneurship journey, and living the life that I, I want to live, living a life that I'm proud of, you know? I'm, I'm proud of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys got something out of this at all. Please leave a comment. I want to hear your stories. Let me know if anything in your life has ever happened to you that was traumatic. Any traumatic experience that literally changed your life into the better. Um, let me know. I want to hear your stories. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one.